I told you you wouldn't have to wait as long until the next one. So, here it is. If you're out of the loop and want to catch up, check the card in the top right to the playlist for the other videos in this series. Second verse, same as the first. Today, we're going to be taking a look at defense types and find out what differentiates them from stamina types. And, I know this part is annoying, but I'll be quick about it. If you enjoy content like this, subscribe to stay notified on new videos. We've just surpassed 400 subscribers, and I'm hoping to reach 500 by the end of the year. Seeing all of you enjoy the videos I make is a great incentive to keep making them. Now that that's all said, let's dive into what it really means to be a good defense type. If you haven't seen the first video, the general game plan for defense types is to have enough weight not to be knocked around by attack types and have just enough stamina to outspin them, while also using that extra weight to bully stamina types the best they can so they aren't outspun in a drawn out match. To make a good defense type, you'll want to use parts that are heavy and preferably have inward weight distribution. A good choice for a DB core would be something like Longinus or Perseus. They should, in theory, create more IWD and therefore greater burst resistance. Check out the video on stamina types to find out why. There are another few cores worth mentioning for defense for another reason. Those being Bahamut, Kerbeus, Valkyrie 1, and Dragon. Bahamut and Kerbeus fall into the same niche but for opposite spin directions. Unlike normal cores, they do not have teeth to bite the driver and prevent it from moving. Instead, they use slopes, like Hasbro Bays. You'd think that without teeth, they would have worse burst resistance, but this isn't the case. Thanks to its rubber lock, it prevents the bay from bursting, thanks to our old friend, Friction. Dragon and Valkyrie 1 are a different case though. They are both right spin cores, and have teeth as usual, so what makes them different? They don't have any kind of burst stoppers or BU lock, but they do have something else interesting. The core has a spring in it, turning any layer it's a part of into a spring-loaded, bound layer, just like God Valkyrie. When the layer is hit, it will bounce back without losing any clicks, provided it's not hit ridiculously hard. The different Valkyrie core molds can vary in how good they actually are, but from what I've seen, Dragon seems to be the solution with a more consistent spring and better teeth. You will also want your layer to have some contact points, without being quite as aggressive as attack types, because you'll want to conserve your spin to a degree enough to beat attack types by stalling them out, but have just enough attack to be able to counter them and have a shot at beating stamina type. After all, you don't want your defense types to be solely taking hits without dealing any. That's for stamina types. A great example of this would be the Roar Blade. It's mostly rounded and fairly heavy, but has two contact points at the sides to be able to counter attack. Another blade that has good defense would be Prominence. Like Roar, it has two contact points at either side, fairly heavy and decently round. However, it has a trick up its sleeve. Prominence has a normal mode and a heavy mode. In normal mode, the prominent shield detaches easier and becomes a stage hazard that gets in the way of attack types. And in heavy mode, the shield is harder to be knocked off and allows more of an opportunity to counter attack. In line with the layer, the disc should also be heavy. Something like the Fortress Disc would be appropriate, even though it also has use in attack combinations. Unfortunately though, using Fortress would mean sacrificing your life after death slightly, because of its straight edges. Over, Illegal, and Moon are all viable options for your disc, due to their weight and smooth edges giving the potential for LAD. And finally, the Driver. In my opinion, the best defensive tip would be Zone Dash plus Z. It has extra weight because of the Metal Z chip, low enough friction to conserve stamina, and is both free spinning and has a rounded tip, giving good potential for LAD. Personal bias aside, good defensive drivers are in line with that. Fairly low friction, rounded tip for LAD, decent weight. Tips like Extend Plus and Drift, while also used in stamina combos, would not be amiss in a defense type melee. Something else worth mentioning is your launch technique. Certain drivers like Drift perform better for defense types when launched at an angle. When banked, even if you hard launch, Drift will just sit in the middle rather than spin out on the ridge and potentially self KO when flat launched. Also coming back from the stamina video is spin stealing. While not as good as pure stamina types, in an opposite spin match, i.e. against something with guilty, you may want to light launch your defense type in order to equalize spin 
or potentially slow-mo burst your opponent. Remember, you may not be a stamina type, but if you choose your parts correctly, you should still have more stamina than an attack type. To sum up what I've said thus far, you'll want your bay to be heavy, with inward weight distribution, have a rounded layer with some contact points to counterattack, and at the very least, a driver with good LAD, if you opt to use something like Fortress or Nexus Plus S for your disc. A uh, future Milgo here. Uh, while editing this video, Takara Tomi has come out with the new Zeal driver, which is very promising for defense types. As far as defense types go in burst, they have been kind of lagging behind attack and stamina. Zeal is essentially the new equivalent of MFB's rubber defense flat. Round free spilling plastic around the side for good LAD, and a rubber sharp in the middle. The rubber part does mean the bay will have less stamina, but because it has a low surface area, the friction it generates will be only enough to increase knockout resistance without a major effect on stamina. From the looks of it, the Zeal driver is going to be the best defensive driver, for opposite spin at least. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I did making it. The next Beyblade video should hopefully be on attack types, so make sure to keep an eye out for that. Anyway, that's it for now. Milgo signing off. Peace.